coming up in this week's vlog. As in a wedding, as you would call a bridesmaid, I was called the best lady. <laughs> and me and Kevin were just looking and smiling and it didn't click and then I looked at him and he looked at me and he said, did he just think that we were a couple? <laughs> I could see why he would have thought because my brother walked over to me and I got stepped out of the van and gave him a hug and here he is holding this bouquet of flowers. I haven't seen my brother in nine months, so <laughs> it was really funny. We got balls flying everywhere. <laughs> he's taking care of the envelopes and I'm doing the cards because he's got some kindergartner handwriting going on over there. You're just jealous. That's all it is, honey. Clean? You don't took everything off the table? <laughs> yeah, here. Oh my goodness, girl. Clean on the table. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is Tuesday and it's like, yeah, we, we've been up for a little bit. It's early. Um, we got up at like 5 o'clock this morning. I heard Lily waking up. <clears throat> it was late when I got her in bed last night too because she took two naps on the way home yesterday. She took one on the way to Kentucky and then she took one on the way back home. Yesterday I had to go to Kentucky because it was my brother's wedding day. And well, yeah, it, they called it a ceremony though. Um, for those of you that don't know, my brother is gay, and since they have legalized gay marriage, my brother and his soulmate went and decided to have their ceremony yesterday, which was on the day of their anniversary when they first got together. And it turned out really, really good. It was very different from your traditional wedding, but it was still a beautiful ceremony, you know, uniting two people together. We got to light candles. It was really, really, really beautiful. Okay, this works a little bit better and you can probably see me since I flipped my camera around to the back side. As in a wedding, as you would call a bridesmaid, I was called the best lady. <laughs> so that was really unique and different. Um, one of the girls I used to go to school with back years and years ago, we went to middle school together and I haven't seen her since. So it's been a good 15 years or so <laughs> since I've seen her. Actually, I think longer than that. Her and my brother worked together and um, my mom actually yeah. used to be married to her dad before me and her were even thought of. So that was a really neat, small world. Um, she's like obsessed with cleaning this morning. <laughs> That's okay though, you saved me some time and work. But anyways, she was also one of the best ladies and I loved how everything turned out. My bouquet of flowers were really pretty. When I got to the church yesterday, um, I was the first one there. I was there before my brother. There was a mailman that pulled up behind me and he was still there whenever my brother got there. So when my brother got there, he parked across the street. Here. And here. There's a spot right there, too. Um, my brother walked over across the street to me and had this bouquet of flowers and came up to me and opened up my, my car door and I was giving him a hug. And the mailman starts to pull off and he stops right beside us and he says, that's really great. I really like that. I really like that. And then he drives off. And me and Kevin were just looking and smiling and it didn't click. And then I looked at him and he looked at me and he said, did he just think that we were a couple? <laughs> and I think he did, obviously. I could see why he would have thought because my brother walked over to me and 
I got stepped out of the van and gave him a hug, and here he is holding this bouquet of flowers. I haven't seen my brother in nine months, so <laughs> it was really funny. But um, the bouquet of flowers were so pretty, and they coordinated with the colors of their shirts and their ties that they were wearing. <laughs> oh, I still can't get over what that mailman was thinking. I feel bad for him now. He was thinking we were a couple. <laughs> but um, anyways... It turned out really good. It only lasted like um, 15, 20 minutes. It started at 3 and it was over by like 3.25. Um, but it was really fun and we all had a great time. Everybody went to Logan's Roadhouse afterwards for drinks and, and dinner. And it was just, it was a, it was a small get together. It wasn't a big ordeal or anything. Um, it wasn't a huge crowd of people, which is, you know, nice. It was a little more simple. And I didn't take the kids because I am not ready to explain to them, you know, my brother's lifestyle yet. Um, my oldest, I don't think he would really understand. And I definitely don't want to raise questions when he hasn't asked yet. So I figure when that time comes, I will have my little saying prepared to give him. Uh, but until then, I'm I'm not speaking, you know, anything of it until he he's ready to ask. Andy, which is my brother's husband now, has been a part of our family for the last 11 years. Um, he's been like a brother to me. He's, he's such a good guy and a wonderful provider, and he works so hard. And my brother you know, is, is so happy with him. So, you know, as long as they're happy together, I'm happy for them. I'm there for my brother and I'm there for Andy. You know, I'll support them. It doesn't mean that I agree with it. Yeah. I'm treating everybody equally. Yeah. You know, that's how people should be treated. They shouldn't be treated any differently. Everybody is uniquely different. And it doesn't matter if you're uniquely different because of a medical issue or because of who you love like we're all uniquely different in our own different ways and I think that's what makes us all individuals I would have filmed some footage yesterday for you guys but we were so busy you know with the travel and how everything was timed that I didn't have a chance to pull my camera out and film anything but I do have some pictures that I can show you guys, and I will upload them at the end of this vlog. And I just want to say, I know there's probably some viewers of mine that don't agree with the gay marriage, so please keep your comments to yourself. I do understand that not everybody agrees with that lifestyle and does not support it due to your own beliefs. But please understand that I, too, have my beliefs. I don't agree with it. But I'm not one to judge and I'm not one to condemn one another for what they choose to do in their lifetime. We all as people have sinned and there's not one sin greater than another. So for that reason, please keep your comments to yourself because I don't want this to be a debate issue. This was a happy day for everybody and I would rather just leave it at that.
fun everywhere. What? You and your hand already. Jamar. Oh. Yeah, I still gotta do this one. Mark. Okay. Who's, wait, who's, who's this one? Who did I say? And I. And, oh yeah, Andy. There you go. He's taking care of the envelopes and I'm doing the cards because he's got some kindergartner handwriting going on over there. You're just jealous. That's all it is, honey. Hey guys, Merry Christmas Eve. It is, what time is that say? 2.40 in the afternoon. I am still in my PJs. I got me a shower, I just threw my hair up. I was going to straighten my hair today so that all I had to do was run over it in the morning because we're leaving super early to go to Kentucky to be with family for Christmas after the kids wake us up bright and early to open up their gifts. But um, I just finished making the potato salad for my mother-in-law's where we're going to have Christmas dinner um, at her house and it turned out rather good. It's my first time making it by myself before I used to make it with my mom. And when I tasted it, you guys, it tasted exactly like my mom's. My mom was with me today when I made this, so I'm really pleased at how it turned out. Not too crazy about the bacon bits I put in it, just because I don't like that hickory taste really too much. But there it is. I did not cook them too long. I used russet instead of red potatoes, because you want a potato that's not going to be as fragile. These potatoes here cooked super fast, and I had them di diced up already before I had mixed everything together when I boiled the potatoes. Um, so I didn't boil them whole, so they cooked rather fast. Um, but the potatoes, I, I took them out of the um, water in time, but when I put them in cold water, from the potatoes being so hot as it was, it got the cold water really warm. And I forgot that they were sitting in there before I changed the water out soon enough, and they got a little softer. So they're, they're pretty soft, but they're not too, too soft. I mean, you can see there's still chunks of potatoes in there. Um, but you can also tell, I may have had a little too much um, dressing whenever I mixed my mustard with the mayonnaise and all the fixings, but I think overall it's going to be okay. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm actually pleased at how it turned out. It's very tasty, and I have put two um, hard-boiled eggs in it. I put like, uh, like a quarter of a cup of onion, green bell pepper, and what else did I put in there? I think that's all I put in there as far as like garnishments go. And I put a little bit of dill in there too um, and some paprika. But other than that, that's all I put in a dash of pepper and it turned out really, really good. So I'm excited to see what everyone thinks of it tomorrow. Something that I've got to do real quick. <laughs> My cough was getting better and now it's just starting to come back again. So I think it's just because of the weather change. We had. 80% uh, chance of a tornado coming through here last night and luckily we didn't but um, the weather is really really warm today and it was yesterday too and it's gonna be tomorrow as well but I'm going to go on ahead and put this together before my husband gets home so he don't have to do it when he gets off work today is his last day at his job that he's been with for four years now 
It's kind of bittersweet, but they've really taken advantage of him and his hard work and dedication to the company for the last four years. And when there's been a problem, they've not wanted to fix it. But now that he's already given um, the company his two weeks notice, the manager said, we just want you to know that you're a really great asset to the company and we really want you to consider staying. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, now my husband's an important asset to the company, but before, you treated him like crap. So, you can only push somebody so far, and they're going to quit. But my husband has a better job opportunity, and better pay, better benefits. You know, I just, I'm really happy for him, and I'm happy for us as a family that um, he was able to take this new step and chapter into our life um, to better things for us. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up leave it in my room with the door shut bring it out tonight the kids go to sleep and um yeah so i've also got to that box back there has lilies in it and i gotta take that out and i think i have to put the legs on the bottom so i'm gonna get that set up because what i plan to do is put her gifts inside the boys have already had their bath for today. I told them that they were going to get them tonight, and then they were asking me if they could open up a present. And I told them, you can't open up a present until after you get your bath tonight. And they were like, oh, let's go ahead and go get our baths. So I was like, okay, go ahead, go get your baths. I don't care. So they got their baths, thinking that they were going to open up a present as soon as they got out. But I told them, y'all, will get to open up one after we do our little traditions. You know, we're going to set cookies and milk out for Santa. We're going to read Toys the Night Before Christmas, sprinkle some Grinch dust out in the yard. We got to set out the magic key. If you go back to my Vlogmas Day video where I was talking about Santa's magic key, um, we don't have a chimney here in our house. So kids wonder, how does Santa get in the house? Because the only thing they know is that he comes down a chimney. I mean, that's how the myth has been. Well, Santa's human like us. He has to get inside the house some way, somehow. Um, we've always left our door unlocked, but we want to be safe about it. So this year I decided let's do a magic key for Santa. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, but then Caleb last night in the kitchen, of course, we got that skylight. And Caleb was like, that's how Santa gets in. <laughs> uh, I can't open it. I did. Oh. This is hard. This is hard. Oh, those are just business cards. Oh my gosh, Kit was actually. What oh, did they what in the? Oh, it's huh? I guess now you know why I was asking you about yeah. that. <laughs> Is it? Oh, mine. Hang on, let Bubba finish getting his, and then we'll we'll film you opening yours, okay? <laughs> Did you notice what one of the characters' names is on the back? You got a green slime, a demon eye, hug. Is that Minecraft? No. Is that oh, Minecraft? look at the name. Yeah. Oh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just open it from here. <laughs> oh, Play-Doh. <laughs> What kind is it? Minions! Minions! Seriously? Are you serious? Oh, it is. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Open this. Yeah. I will let you open up your <laughs> Cheese. You like that? It jumps like a stuntman too. <laughs> All right, y'all want to watch Sissy disgusting. open up hers? You want to watch Sissy open up hers? Lily, you want to open up yours? All right. Bye. Yeah, here. Want to open up yours? Look. There you go. Look at her, Tim. She's doing it. Good girl. Wow, what you got? Oh, what's Show there? Daddy what you got. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I know got, Jules has something like yeah, that. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got daddy. I see. <laughs> She's trying so hard. There you go. I get it. There That's you go. Cool. Here. What is that, Kim? Um, it's a 
like a wooden yeah, magnetic I'm puzzle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can do Ooh. Do you want to sit in the floor and open it? Oh. What is that? We got Taco Bell for dinner. We got Lily and Caleb a cheese quesadilla. Come here, Lily. Hopefully she'll eat hers. They don't ever eat the tacos from there. Just got a whole bunch of tacos. Yeah. You want a cheese quesadilla? Huh? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have my ticket. How many tacos did you get, Tim? Uh, sure. uh, Ten soft and five hard life. Oh. I don't know if you got the same amount since they got quesadillas. Have me some mild sauce with it. Um, is it good? <laughs> Is it good? It's good. It's good. <laughs> you like your quesadilla? Yeah. Are they better than mommy's? Yeah. You like the sauce? It's not too hot, is it? Okay. What are we doing? So we're gonna go put grab those two little cards up there on the piano. Is that what, these, 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 these. We're gonna hang that one on the door and then put the other one beside the key so Santa knows. So we're gonna put our magic key outside so Santa can get in the door. Caleb, you wanna come out here with us? We're gonna sprinkle some of this reindeer food in the yard too. It's not actually reindeer food, seriously. Yes, they'll eat it. The cinnamon toast crunch. I know. Reindeers love that stuff. Ooh. A little chitty. What door do I put it on? This one? Um, hey, hey, hey. Whoop. Yeah, that's Mom, um, can I put this magic key like maybe come, right here? Come on. Mommy, where do I put it? Um, you can sit it right there. There we go. Yeah, that'll be good. Does that look so cool? So now Santa will know. But what if he doesn't see it? What if he just does this? He'll know because he'll see the sign on the door. He'll know to look. Alright, so take this bag. You have to open it up. I just... You want to go out here in the yard and sprinkle some reindeer food? Come on, boy. Oh, it's a full moon almost. You forgot I'm the working. Christmas lights going. That I'm is working. a full moon. Huh? That is a full moon. Almost. It's got a smidge. But, all right. I'm going to go get a shirt real quick. Are you eating the reindeer food? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, and now we gotta wait on Bubba to go put his shirt on because he's cold. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tell Bubba, say, hurry up. <laughs> oh my, that's a May. Mm -hmm. The dish. Santa will know. Don't throw it on the porch. I don't want reindeer poo all over my porch. Here, take some poo. 
Just sprinkle it out there in the front yard a little bit. Who wants some? Come here, Kale. Come on. You wanna come out here? <coughs> Alright, go ahead. Who sprinkle some in the yard. Okay. Who, no, seriously, who is that up there? Hmm? I don't know. cold out here. Come on, Caleb. You want to sprinkle some? Look at all this reindeer food in the yard. <laughs> you don't have to do the whole bag. You just sprinkle a little bit here and there. We're not going to pick it all up. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Are you cold, Lily? Yeah, my little cold. <laughs> all the grass is wet. Junior's having a blast out there with that stuff. Who's that up there? Huh? Someone's up there that, that they don't know it is up mm -hmm. there. They don't know it is. <coughs> I don't know. Someone's up there and I don't know it is. Do you want to go sprinkle that last little bit? Come on. Oh. You, you want to go dump it in the yard? He don't want to. Let's go inside. Let's go get warm. It's cold. Oh, get him. <laughs> Bubba didn't hold the door for us. Okay. It's cold, 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 cold. And before y'all go to bed, we'll read "Twas the Night for Christmas." Okay. I'll go sit on the piano. There arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Someone else gonna read? Oh, mom. I made it. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah. All right, read the side on the. Is there a left side? Yeah. Right here. Yeah, okay. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. We got Santa's milk and cookies out. We read Twas the Night Before Christmas. And Santa's got some Oreos. Nice cold cup of milk, and it looks like there's a heart. Oh, uh, now I see how my parents felt. Waiting for me to fall asleep before you could do stuff. It's <laughs> rough, man. When you've been up all night, all day. Yeah.